Well, hello travelers, Todd and Michelle here, Heidi and Kevin right here. We have just had dinner at Disney's Yachtsman Steakhouse and it was quite an adventure. So come along and let's see what the Yachtsman had to offer us tonight. I could get her to do this one. We're supposed right, to. Okay, travelers. So we have made our way into Yachtsman Steakhouse. We are here with Heidi and Kevin right over here. They may, they may look familiar because it was probably about a year ago we had two dinners with them because Kevin and Heidi actually went on the Halcyon. So we were, had dinner with them before they went on it and we after we they went go, on it. So we had to pick the reins yeah. from all the They time. loved it. I do still believe yeah. Kevin I'm would go on it again if yeah. Heidi's already said it. She's very sad. So um, they came back this year to I go to Not So Scary. Here. I know. Like, Unbelievable. You know, time goes so fast. So they came to do Not So Scary and then invited us to dinner. So we're coming to dinner at the Yachtsman Steakhouse right here. I'm really surprised that their menus are cardboard. <laughs> For the Yachtsman Steakhouse, maybe that'll change. This is pretty much the menu right here, which I will take a picture of so you guys can get a better look at it. But we're going to peruse the menu, talk to Kevin and Heidi, have a great dinner tonight, and see what else the Yachtsman has to offer us. Okay, so here is the menu right here. These are the starters. It's pretty simple, straightforward. Um, just to let you know, the sauces are an extra charge. The what? The sauces. Okay. Right there the are sauces. an extra. The sauces. Not the sauces. The, the sauces. The sauces. The um, steaks and stuff do not come with the side. It is just that price. And then you can come down to here to add a side right there. So um, this is pretty much the menu. Number one and number two, most ordered appetizers here. Okay. Both sides. We are going to get, I know, I think we're both, Michelle got the macaroni and cheese and I got the Brussels sprouts. But we'll show you everything else we got for dinner tonight. And I do believe we get a bread service. Okay, the bread service has come. I'm just going to pick up the whole basket. Is that a real candle? It's, yeah, it's got heat there. Okay, so we have two different rolls. We got sourdough rolls and Parker House onion rolls right here. They brought us some butter with some seed salt on it, but that is the rolls right there. And then they also, they brought enough butter, thank goodness. Two of them. Look how cute that is right there. But what they also offer is the roasted garlic right there, still in the head. You pop one of those out and put it on your rolls, and they are absolutely fantastic. So we're going to break some bread together. As you can tell, the appetizers have arrived. I got the Brussels sprouts for appetizer tonight. Michelle got the French onion soup right there. So did Kevin. He got the French onion soup. And Heidi got the wedge salad right there. That looks beautiful. That does. And I love that soft boiled egg. It's fantastic. Um, we may have... We're not sure if this is going to be hot it's enough fine. for Michelle. It's, it's fine, fine, she's saying. I'm giving up, though. But I will share my Brussels sprouts with Michelle if she really wants one. But we shall see. Okay, here we go. Like I can't eat until Michelle's going to try our soup. Do you want to try my soup? No. I'm going to try my Brussels sprouts. Be careful. You're knocking them all over. Oh, I'll get them. They're right there. Brussels sprouts, Michelle's soup. Right. Cheers, honey. Cheers. And cheers to Eddie and cheers. Kevin. Thank yes. you guys so Good much for inviting us tonight. Here we go. Of They're a little lukewarm, but they're not sweet. Let me see what kind of Brussels sprouts we have. But they're good. I do enjoy them. So they're a hot honey Brussels sprout. Well, there's a ton of cheese on the soup. Okay. So that's a positive. It's a little salty tonight to me, though. Maybe it's all the cheese. It could be the cheese. Could be the cheese. But but it's a good flavor. It's okay. Good. Is it hot enough? Not really, but it's all right. I know that. 
Um, but these Brussels sprouts were twelve fifty, and the um, French onion soup was fifteen dollars. Just to let you guys know. It's but, very like you know we were talking earlier and we said there's like a French onion soup and then there's a beefy French onion soup. Yes, yes. Some restaurants have the beef flavor. I know that true French onion soup doesn't have it. I understand it's just the onion soup. This one's more classic. It's okay. like not a beefy base. Okay. There we Almost, go. Almost. Um, that's funny because I literally said to him, I see it was an onion broth based. I'm like, I prefer a deme or a beef broth. Based. Same. Yeah, the same. Heidi's in the food industry and she can pick a menu and pick she a dish good. apart like nobody I've ever seen. She's very good she at it, good. so she knows exactly what to look for. And we brought her a surprise. I don't know if we're going to yeah. show them what we got them, but I'm scared because she's going <laughs> to eat. Anyway, I'm scared. <laughs> I think they may have already known. They may have known. But this isn't a sweet Brussels sprout. So when you get them, Kevin, they're not going to be like the bourbon glaze and all that. Oh. But they're very savory, very nice. Wait, just need to be hot. You, did he? Yeah, they do need to be. See if he wants to and for me to say something is lukewarm, you know. Oh, that means it's cold. No, it's, no, it's not. Huh? He wants to try it. Oh, go ahead, Kevin. Oh, he got Brussels sprouts, but here, well, try have, one. I have them coming. Try one. Uh, uh, try, no, 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 try uh, one. I forgot Kevin got Brussels sprouts, too. What do you think? <laughs> I'll stick on my French onion soup. I told you. Mm. Really? Those are very good. Yeah. The hot honey, the honey. I didn't get any honey at all. Mm-hmm. It's oh, very mild. It's not oil. It's right. the honey. Mm-hmm. I thought it was oil. Yeah, no. it's not hot. Nutty. No. No. Heidi, you want to try one? Walnuts. We're going to get Heidi to try one. Cooked well. I guess. I, think I mean, if everybody, well. everybody else try Yeah, everybody one. else try one. They're so dark and you don't see them. Yeah, by the way, if you do come to dinner with us, we always share our stuff. We do not. We do. <laughs> we want everybody to experience it. Yeah. See, they're not oh sweet. They're not. They're different. They're I'm a different Brussels sprout than anywhere I've had before. STK. With the honey they they gotta be. You like STK because they're sweet. STK has to be still the best muscle sprouts on sweet. property. <laughs> they are fantastic. But they're $19. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Some of the interior of the Yacht Club. Yeah, I mean, the Yachtsman Steakhouse. Right there. And as you can tell, the entrees have arrived. What did I get, Coco Van? Coco Van right there, the chicken with the pasta, and it is house made pasta. Coco Van right there, house made pasta. This is Michelle's um, ribeye. Mm-hmm. She's going to go with the ribeye. Mm-hmm. Has some little vegetables right there, and the macaroni and cheese right there. It is That's a, a truffle, truffle. Oh, thank you. truffle yeah. mac and cheese. And then Kevin got the filet right here with more of the vegetables right there. And he also got the side of uh, Brussels sprouts. So he gets a side. And then Heidi got the caspaccio, which I'm still trying to get to eat that. I'm, <laughs> it's one of those tastes that I have to get through. Did, did, but have you ever, I don't think you've ever tried it that Yes, way. I have. Oh, you did. Yes, I have. I'm mean, just one of those acquired tastes, I believe. But I can't wait to give this chicken a try. We're going to give Michelle's <laughs> ribeye a try right here. And you know she's a Longhorns girl, so we're going to see. Cheers, honey. <laughs> she doesn't look confident in this. I've had this so much. It's like, I wonder if there's a thing like you can look at me and know the weight of it. What do you think? You're looking at me like I'm saying No. It did look a little small. It didn't look like 16 ounces. What do you think of the flavor? Very tender. Very tender. No Longhorns. Longhorns still wins. She's a Longhorns girl. It's, um... Helen, you would appreciate that. It's a what? Well, all right, so here I am again. I feel obligated to say, so it feels like tonight that I've, I haven't really liked a whole lot of what I've had so far. But, I don't know how to say it. Go ahead, say it. Well, I said it earlier, and I think the more that you eat and the more types of dishes that you have, 
let you grade it according to what you've eaten in the past. So that being said, the steak is very tender. So it's it's cooked well, but the seasoning isn't there. Okay. Like, I think it's very salty, but everything tonight has been salty. So okay. I think sometimes when you season food, there are other seasonings other than salt. Yeah. So I'd like to taste more. Gotcha. Like on a steak, a good piece of meat, you really don't need anything more than a light dusting of salt and pepper. I don't taste any pepper at all. So it's just very salty. Okay. Almost like it was packed in salt. That makes sense. Is it sense. the same for you or is it just No, like because Heidi too? even said the soup was a little salty. But Kevin apparently loves salt, so I'm that he was right in. Would you like to take a little bite? I'm interested to see what you would think. Okay. I'll let you We're gonna cut let. it. Just on a piece I haven't touched, so just take a, take a bite. I want to get Heidi's opinion on it. Heidi's like opinion. You want to try it, Kevin? You want to try some oh, of it? I'm, I'm good, yeah. He has the filet. How's your steak? Very good, yeah. Very good, good. Yeah. Kevin's How do you feel about the seasoning? You think it's good? I agree with your saltiness. I am a saltaholic. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. My first couple of bites of my filet were very good. I have not added any salt yet. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. No. Yeah. I it's agree. just me? You think it's my taste or you think it's... It needs like, some other seasoning. I'm, you know, and I, they know that I am a ketchup, you know, mm -hmm. steak sauce kind of girl. I'll mix the two together. Even at Longhorns, as much as I love that steak, I can't eat Longhorns without any sauce on it. This one I was going to try to eat not having anything on it. I don't think I can. There's just, I don't know. It's like all well, the sauces are that additional charge. Sauces are additional charge. <laughs> Maybe yeah. not ketchup. I'm not sure about that. No, it needs some kind of There's no butter. pepper corn. Almost like a oil on it. Yeah. Not not a buttery taste, but a oily No, it's taste. like they sprayed it when they cooked it. You know, and it there's some kind of like glaze on it. Yeah. There's like a gravy. Yeah, it's that being said, the meat itself is good. Right. This was okay. So now you can talk about the price. Okay. Unless you want to try your chicken. Do your chicken first. Okay. We're going here. There's a little piece right there. Grab a little piece right there. Yeah. It has like a gravy on it. Yeah. Did it say that in the description? I missed it. We're going to see. Like, to taste it. Like that's like a. No, gravy. I already did taste it. Where do they put gravy on steak? It is. It's a gravy. Uh, da, 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 da. It's no, like a thickened on shoot. You know what I'm saying? Like a thickened beef bake. It just and says I think six, that's what's making it salty. Yeah. It's a 16 ounce ribeye steak, prime it? cut, and it is um, $57. And that's all the description. I thought it was 37 No, that's 57 Okay. With now my out. opinion is really in there. Well, here we go. <laughs> Buckle up. No, 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 no. This isn't the steak I remember that I had before. For okay. sure. I think the seasoning is definitely missing off the okay. steak. $57. Huh? $57. Without, an ex without a side, which she got the truffle mac and cheese, which is also $14.50. Which looks good. <laughs> which? I'm sorry. No, it's all right. I was thinking. Hey. Right, mac and cheese. You want to try no, it? No, yeah. You don't like truffles, but. No, I don't like. No, the, I don't want to try it. That's right. I forgot what's truffle. So now we're No? No? Okay. So the Yachtsman, we're going to have Heidi try it because she likes truffle. I do not. <laughs> Hope my chicken dish turns out to be really, really good. <laughs> well, this is their first no. time here. Awful. <laughs> oh, don't. No. Hey, on the bright side, our Brussels sprouts were hot. Oh, were well, they? Okay. Yeah, there we go, bright side. It did side. take a little bit of time to get dinner. It did take a little bit of time to get them to Okay. We're going to All try. Right, there's a chicken. Okay. Ready? Cheers, Cheers honey. Mm -hmm. Chicken's good. Mm -hmm. Chicken's, Chicken's really good. It's very tender. Yeah. The I gravy would, that's I with it. I would have preferred that. Yeah. That's good. I'm it's sorry. like the air, what do they call it? Airplane chicken? Yeah. Where you have the drum sticking the out. Drum, the little old thing, so. Okay, yeah, so that's how we are. tonight, so that's really good. And it comes with the pasta. Yeah, it comes with the little, And you like still I have said. the gravy, the au jus, whatever yep. that is. Yep, house-made pasta, so we're going to go and continue. You know I'm going to say, if you didn't see the one, the last video, a 
about the Lazy Dog, don't discount that restaurant. Go back and look, because I would put that burger up against this steak, and I bet it would win every time. Yeah, probably. That's right. a good burger. That's a good. So maybe it ruined my taste buds for. That could be. Could you, be. You, were maybe. you were tainted. You were tainted. That's what it is. You got some Montreal back there. Oh, it's some ketchup. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Oh, I like that one. Do yeah, that this again. is the one. Who's the winner? The winner. That's there we go. Okay. Heidi prepared me a bite of caspaccio right there. Carpaccio. Carpaccio. It's raw meat. It's raw. Oh, my gosh. But, fun fact, Michelle's dad... I when, think you've told this before. Michelle's dad used he, to grab the hamburger as her mom was making the meatloaf from patty and just eat it. It, that was his way of testing the meat. I yep. said to him, he doesn't understand that. If it's good meat, My it's going to be wrong. And yeah. he said he could tell right away if it was good uh, or bad meat. I'm going to tell right away if I like this or not. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. See? That's a little shocking. Yes, yes, that is very What's shocking. It like a prosciutto ham, mm-hmm. but more beef flavor, of course, because it's beef. But with the cheese and the, um, is that like a artichoke? Artichoke. <laughs> That's really, really good. Okay. I'm impressed. Okay, Traveler, so we have wrapped up dinner. It was an adventurous dinner. Um, we had some hits and we had some misses. I, my chicken was really good. Michelle's steak. It, it just did not meet I, up. I did and would tell people up to just about a couple weeks ago huh? that when they said they were coming to Yachts on our first date, I would say, oh, you're, you're in for a really good treat. Now after tonight, I'm not sure. It could be a hit or miss. Maybe it was the night tonight. Right. I know they weren't really that busy, but it did take a little longer to get our entree, so maybe something's happening behind the scenes that we don't know. But it's definitely not what I remember. And... Um, I kind of, again, you guys, you know, we, we eat a lot. So based on the meal that we had, the prior video, that was just so good. Sometimes that does shadow over. I know that sounds crazy, right? No, no it doesn't. Just, how can you put in the same sentence, lazy dog versus right. yachtsman? Yes, but... It should be, yachtsman should have won by a landslide. So the fact that it didn't kind of tells me it looked. So had a wonderful dinner. You know, I, I love Heidi and Kevin, and Kevin, right here. Right there. Mine was yummy. <laughs> I, yeah. They didn't and, have to cook anything with mine. Yummy. And how about you, Kevin? <laughs> My food was very good, and I really enjoyed the company. Oh. He's just he trying to butter us up. Yeah, he had the filet. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't get a ribeye. Maybe you shouldn't get ribeyes, being that we know where your favorite ribeye is. Yeah, I may not. Yeah, I so. My you judge me? Yeah. Well. But, we're, um, we're gonna end the night on a good note, though. We brought you some ice wine from Michigan. No, ice Look, wine from Michigan. <laughs> we're gonna end on a smile. We are gonna end on a smile with oh, that. Hey, guys. Thank you Thank so you. much. Oh, we can't wait to try. We gotta get it nice and cold. Sorry. Wait, yeah. Did I hear we try? Yeah. Well, we gotta get it nice and cold. And it, you, if you guys, guys know Michelle. Ice wine is her weakness. I haven't heard of that. Right there. It's it's local. It's from like five miles from his house. Oh, okay. It's a local Michigan ice wine. So we can't wait to give that a try. So like we said, sometimes there's hit and misses. Tonight, there were a lot of hits for us at the table, and there was some misses for us at the table. So everyone should try everything. Go ahead. If you haven't tried this before... If you don't normally drink, this is good to start. It's basically like a dessert type yeah. wine. They're usually very sweet, but I challenge to find the alcohol taste in this. Yeah. So sometimes they are a little pricier, I think, because of the yeah the way the, how they do the grape made, and everything. But absolutely delicious. Yeah. I haven't found one yet that I can't call my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> So, well, thank you so much, guys, for this. Thank you, Kevin and Heidi. We appreciate that. Um, So, Michelle is taking her leftovers home. We're going to have that probably tomorrow morning with some maybe steak and eggs, potatoes, jujita, whatever it is. Um, I'm not having any dessert. Might 
might even go have some ice cream somewhere. So until then, travelers, like we always say, travel and adventure is out there. Lots of wine, ice wine. <laughs>